Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make this wallpaper background and first of all you need to create a new file and that's the same size of your background and click OK and now I'm going to get my toolbox back by clicking or pressing on ta tab on my keyboard and there it's back and I'm going to fill oops, that wasn't supposed to happen I'm going to fill this with black so make your foreground color black and fill it with the bucket tool. And now go to filters, light and shadow, lens flare. And make the first lens flare about here. And click OK. And now it's rendering. And here's your first lens flare. And now go to filters and reshow lens flare. And make the second one about here. See if that's good. Yeah, that's fine. And then click OK. And now we're going to do the same thing one more time. Filters ratio lens flare. And make one more about here. And it's fine. And click OK again. And now that's done. We're going to go to filters. Light and shadow. And this time gradient flare. And first we're going to go at a G flare 102, this one here, and put it about here. And maybe a bit higher. No, I liked it here. And then click OK. And there it is. And go to filters, ratio gradient flare. And this time a G flare 101. And put it here. And click OK. And now we're going to go to Filters, Enhance and Sharpen. I'm going to sharpen it by 91 or 90, about 90 and then click OK. And now we're going to create a new layer in our layer dialog by clicking on this icon here. And call it anything you like, it's just one layer. And we're going to fill this layer by this color and the notation is C90DE. Click OK and then fill it with your bucket fill tool. And now all you need to do is go to your layer dialog and set the mode to U. And you're done. And that was it for today. And I hope you liked this simple but I hope nice tutorial. And if you did then maybe you'd like to watch my other videos and subscribe. Thank you for watching.